welcome back to my IGTV, ooh, to my channel, wherever it is that you are viewing from. Thanks for viewing. Um, as you can clearly see, like I always say, disclaimer, my dogs are a heavy feature on all of my videos because they are very needy and they like to play. Um, but it's just part of the quirk that comes with me. Um, but thank you for watching. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about plasma donation to make money. Um, I debated really heavily if I wanted to put this in my new series and I've had to record it so many times at this point. I just don't care. Um, I'm also a terrible video editor. So if this looks really choppy, I'm sorry. Um, but we're talking about plasma donation and Coda apparently is going to sit behind me the whole time and try and eat my hair. Um, but what is plasma? What is plasma donation? Can you make money doing it? Um, what are the effects of donating regularly? These are all questions that y'all have asked me. So first and foremost, what is plasma? So plasma is part of your blood. So it, I want to say it's like 40% or maybe it's 60%. I don't know the actual percentages, but it's part of your blood and it is something that cannot be synthetically made. So there are a lot of things that our body produces that can be made synthetically, but this is not one of them. So they rely heavily and 100% on donations. So you have a lot, of, a lot of places that are like, they're owned by, I'm going to say big pharma. No one come at me for that. Um, but they're owned by big pharmaceutical companies because they use plasma to help develop new medicines, um, different types of medicines to help treat, treat all kinds of things. And then you have obviously the Red Cross, hospitals, um, clinics, stuff like that that are set up and they do more so of you donate and it goes directly to a patient. So depending on what you're looking for, if you have had a family member that has been impacted and you know the impact of a direct donation, the Red Cross, a hospital, um, a clinic that actually does donations like that, do your research. That's probably going to be more up your alley. This is more directed towards people that you kind of need money. So... I'm going to donate plasma to make money. Um, so disclaimer, that is what this is going to be talking about. Um, I do know that several of y'all reached out to me and said, you know, my family member was impacted by plasma donations. Like it helped them so much in their recovery. And for that, thank you for telling me. Um, one person actually did like inform me and talk to me about like, like no, no, like, that doesn't directly go to the patient that typically is for like medicine which is still making an impact but it's not quite the same so i do just want to put that out there for y'all um just so you do know like what you're getting into i know some people are like rage against the machine no big pharma um and if that's the case this isn't for you and you can just kindly not watch anymore but for those of you that are curious that maybe you need a little extra cash before the holidays or maybe you're trying to get debt free whatever it is you can donate plasma to make money so the place that i go is biolife um there's my dogs um like i said it's biolife so i joined when they were having a new donor promotion and it was 350 dollars for your first five donations and then after that it just depends how frequently you donate if you're donating regularly how much you can make um but that typically like if you're donating two times a week regularly you're hitting like you're, like, you're on the top tier of the donation payment schedule and that's 90 dollars a week um they do have other bonuses and stuff like that to where you can make more excuse me even if you're not a new donor but $90 a week times four weeks is $360, you guys. That's not bad. A lot of people join network marketing to make something like that. So um, think about that. If you have a place near you, just do the research, I beg you. Don't go anywhere that's like super shady or super sketchy. Um, if there are bad reviews out there for a place, take it into consideration. 
I chose BioLife because that is one of the bigger places near me. It's a newer facility. It hasn't even been open for a year. And everything that I read seemed like it was going to be a really good place. There were some really positive like YouTube videos and videos out there for it. So just do your research. Um, everywhere pays a little bit different. And yeah, that's my spiel on that. Now, how the donation process actually works is you do get a needle into your arm. It goes into a vein, just like if you were donating blood. The only thing is it goes into like the machine that does the separating and then you get your blood back. So for me, it's about like eight cycles of that where it pulls out the blood and it's like cycling it out. And then like the little blood canister gets full and then you get your blood back and then the process keeps going, right? So it's about eight cycles of that. And depending on which arm I use, I have one good arm and one bad arm. So I typically just use the good arm, but you gotta give it a break sometimes. So when I use the bad arm, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes for the donation. So like an hour and 30 minutes total. Um, Cause when you get in, you have to like process in and they make sure you're healthy and stuff. But if I'm using my good arm, it takes me about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And then obviously processing time. So about an hour, that's not bad at all. You're compensated for your time. And if you have a successful donation, you're paid that day and you can transfer it to your bank or use the prepaid card that they give you. So not bad at all. I know I'm trying to be debt free in 2020. So I just wanted to kind of chat about this. There is a couple things that I would recommend. One, obviously make sure you're healthy. If you're not healthy, you're not going to get approved. Uh, um, that is kind of common sense. But um, if you are going in to donate, drink a ton of water. And when I say a ton, I mean at least a gallon. The day and the day before and every single day when you're donating. <laughs> you need to be drinking at least a gallon of water. Um, that's been like a really big shift for me. And honestly, there's a lot of other great perks for drinking that much water. So um, that is one thing. If you are donating, make sure you take a jacket or a blanket. It is cold in there. And then you get a like saline solution solution back in your body to help like um, replenish the hydration hydration that you've lost from donating the plasma and that is at room temperature which is like 70 something and then your body obviously is at like 98 ish degrees so it feels like it's ice cold when it's going into your body and you can get like the shivers and the shakes um but it's it's like really quick it goes by quickly if that makes sense when like that happens. I just always have a jacket and I have like one arm in a jacket and then like I'm donating. So um, that's the easiest. I see people with blankets though. So you could do that too. Lastly, obviously I sit there and I try to do work on my phone or I just watch a Netflix show and relax. So make sure you bring headphones if you're going to do something like that or if you're reading a book. Some people are not considerate. Let me tell you. They are sitting there having full on FaceTime conversations and I know their life story by the time I get out of there. Um, so bring headphones, be considerate. And then also a really big thing is you cannot eat or drink or go to the bathroom when this is happening. So don't be that person who like they're about to stick you with the needle and you're like, oh my God, I need to go to the bathroom or oh my God, my stomach's growling. Not a good thing. Don't do that. Don't be that person. You hear me? Don't do it. But other than that, that's all I got for you. So plasma donation, it is real. I have made over $400 and it's been not even a month yet. So is it worth it? I think so. If you're not afraid of needles and you can spare the time, um, do it. Try it at least two times because you have to donate twice for them to be able to use your donations but try it at least two times and see if it's for you and if you can fit it into your schedule make it happen it's a great way to bring in extra money so that is all i've got for you i love y'all hit the like button hit the subscribe button wherever you're watching show me some love and until next time adios guys